Welcome everybody to a very special episode of Infinity Rewatch. This is near and dear to my heart. I can't tell you how special this is. But first I'll tell you who I am, because I'm a stranger. You don't know me, probably. I'm Andrew Fantasia. And unless you've been following the channel, I'm Ryan J. Whitehead. <laughs> there, we ain't strangers no more. Uh, welcome to this really cool, fun little episode here. Here's the deal, guys. Today, uh, we're not talking about MCU. We're not talking about the, the shows or the movies or anything, but we are still talking about Marvel because it's kind of our thing. But a very particular pocket of Marvel that dates back to our childhoods. Uh, Ryan was kind enough to purchase this, and I'm going to hold this up for the video so everybody can see, but obviously for people who are just listening to the podcast version, this is what Ryan bought me. It is a, a box of the Marvel Universe uh, series four trading cards made by Skybox. I think these were from 1993. Uh, yeah, copyright 1993. Uh, I grew up with these. My dad and I used to collect them when I was a kid. It was one of the the many sets of cards he and I would try to hunt down. And they were huge in my youth. And Ryan found a whole box that we are going to devour. He has half on his end and I have half here. And we're going to open them. And we got... Each of us has a goal. Ryan, why don't you tell them your goal? What are you looking for in your packs of cards? All right. So for those of you uh, who have been getting to know us over these many episodes, um, we talked about how we met in college. And uh, we'd say we grew up together. What a life it would have been. But to be fair, we're growing up together now. And what a life it has been. Um, I love that, dude. That's so sweet. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that being said, uh, Fantasia came over one day and, and brought over his book of trading cards. He's like, you gotta, you gotta see this. And I was like, okay, now I used to be a trading card collector and, uh, I will say, it, you know, if it wasn't competition, you sure, you know, blew, uh, blew the competition away. But, um, I, I'm, I think I can safely say for both of us, this is probably one of our favorite series of trading cards. Like, in my mind, in my mind specifically, this is like my favorite series. Um, so Marvel did a series called the uh, the Skybox uh, Series Four, and so uh, these cards here, as you can see, so these cards here, they uh, you essentially what you do is as you collect them, they uh, if you get the right ones, they fill out a full page. And so uh, once I realized, uh, you know, uh, Fantasio, I got to see his collection. Uh, he was missing one card from the entire collection. OK, but uh, we also learned that there are special uh, edition cards. But the goal is to at least get this one card. That's one card and it will complete the entire set. So uh, for me, I do love this enough, but I never actually collected them all. So uh, I'm not I'm not nearly as close as he was. I would say he was missing one card. I would say I had about close to half, half the cards. Um, in fact, some of the cards I just showed you, some of them I actually have from 1993 themselves, but uh, a lot of them I just picked up to, picked up from the from my source, uh, and it was great. And so. So yeah, so uh, for for my objective, I am going to see if we can collect them all for me. But uh, we are excited because uh, I'm I'm really hoping I can help Fantasia collect the entire series four uh, series four Marvel comics cards. Oh boy, this is exciting. Let me. I have to keep reminding myself the name of the. The lady who I don't have. Her name is Starhawk. She is yeah. a, a blonde woman flying through space. So mm -hmm. that's what we're looking for. And again, if anybody is just listening and they're not watching the video of this, if you want to look up these cards so you can understand what we're talking about, they are the Skybox Marvel Universe Series 4 trading cards from 1993. And they are gorgeous. These are some of the best looking cards. I have ever collected it. I think between this and the Fleer Ultra Spider-Man 95, I think that was they're mm -hmm. just some of the best looking cards around. Uh, so we were talking about this just before this episode started. Um, so the 1993 series, this is when Marvel was hiring really fresh new artists. 
Um, but these people were heavily inspired by Jack Kirby. Uh, but this is the time when the rock stars came out. And Jim, I know you're quite active on the wonderful world of social media, um, but you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm gonna call you out, Jim Lee. Uh, this is the time around Jim Lee was uh, one of the artists and his run of X-Men, he is a very talented guy. Um, but him, McFarlane, and Todd, I know you just came out with Spawn Comics, uh, brand new Spawn Comics uh, just recently. Congratulations. Uh, but I will say, uh, I also think Todd McFarlane was just before Jim. Um, but these guys were like rock stars. Like they made comic books really cool, like super cool. And, uh, you know, back in the day uh, during, you know, your Jim Starlin, uh, your Jack Kirby, um, your um, Steve Ditko, those guys all based their characters on Olympians. That's that's where this, the whole idea of the unit, um, I guess it's the unitard, unitard? I guess uh, so, yeah. Yeah, um, the superhero outfit was based on Olympians. That's what they looked like. Um, and of course, when you see an Olympian uh, at the Olympics, you can, like, they do seem superhuman because of their abilities, right? So that's kind of where this whole thing came from. I would say um, with McFarlane and Lee, they took that inspiration, but, um, you know, the, the women looked physically strong and and of course they kind of they also kind of you know they kind of had the the looks of supermodels that you would see in you know kind of the sports illustrated magazines at the time um uh but these just these super fit women but again just the the kind of shapes they have you can see it's kind of very similar to like the models of, of the 80s and, and 90s at the time uh and um and yeah so it was kind of like this this new rock star look and the, 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 the heroes, they all look like these kind of eighties gritty and Fantasia and I love that. that kind of eighties gritty graffiti style look. Um, but yeah, I would say most of these cards definitely kind of lean towards Jim Lee. Um, but I mean, Jim, if you're, if you ever watch this or check this out, let us know, man. Um, give us a little feedback. I I'd be curious to hear the story about these cards, uh, but they are amazing. And this is our goal for today's episode. Yeah. And I think one of the reasons I love the aesthetic of these cards so much is because it's not something you see often where it's a mix between that really gritty 90s look where everybody was trying to be edgy all the time, extreme. But at the same time, it is as colorful as when Ditko was drawn and and uh, and King or the King Kirby. Were, were yeah. Drawing. So Jack the King Kirby. Yeah. That mix of color and 90s which 90s was all about let's wash out that color and just make it look badass it creates something really unique so i loved it for that i'm excited you're excited i'm going to find i already forgot her name starhawk she's gonna be here she's here i know she is but let's get opening let's get opening i'm excited all right i, I you know what? i'm gonna let you go first and okay. then we'll open them together all right uh, this pack has spider-man on it so you know it's probably gonna be bad oh <laughs> That was a joke. I oh love you. Oh my god, I, I can't believe it. I'm, I'm excited for you. The, the uh, excitement is just... Okay. My first card is an X-Men character, I think. So that's a good sign. It's Brood. Okay. Ooh. Are you missing Brood? brood? Okay. I am missing Brood. All right. Put that in the Ryan pile. You've got... Okay, I, I should start making some piles here. Okay. There's... While we While we do this, though, I'm actually going to break it down for you because I have, and I'm sure you do too, um, we have the checklist. Never, okay. you never get a card set without one of these bad boys. Um, and the checklist breaks it down for you. Now, I should tell you guys when you look through the pages of these things, um, each page is like a different area of Marvel, uh, different aspects. So you have the mysticism, you have space, uh, you kind of have like this techno cyber world. I don't even know. It's the um, 90s, right? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's the 90s. No explanation required. So the brood, uh, can you tell me the number of the brood? I can. And people watching, you're probably going to see me smell these cards a lot because I love the smell of a fresh pack of cards. Don't judge me. That's cardboard, baby. Brood is number yep. 119. 119. So just after that. So um, that is the outworldish 
Yes, the Outworldish race. So that's along the same page as the Titans, the Asgardians, mm -hmm. the Shi'ar, um, the Kree, uh, all these guys. So yes, the Brood. Uh, so you can actually see uh, here. I'll pull out. Yes, I'm pulling it out a card. Oh, you're not allowed to do that. Uh, yeah, there we go. So that's what happens after the brood. And these are laid out in such a way as to mm. accommodate the typical nine card binder where every nine cards is a giant mural when you put them all together, which is genius. So yeah, yeah. Oh, look, Thanos is right there next to him, huh? next to the brood, just hanging out. Mm -hmm. Just next to the brood. So the Titans, it says a group of Eternals founded by a colony on Saturn's moon, Titan, and became the Titans. With an advanced civilization run by the world computer Isaac, the Titan race has produced uh, heroes such as Star Fox of the Avengers, as well as the... Oh boy, that's, that's a, these are really small words, guys. They are, but Star Fox is a Nintendo character. I smell a lawsuit. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and such as menaces as Thanos. As Thanos. So uh, this was, but again, that's what the beauty of these cards were: is that when you were growing up, uh, not only could you collect the comics, but the cards were great snapshots as to how you can help discover other characters that you may have missed. And the beauty of these cards specifically is you can see like, hey, I like the Asgardians. What else could I discover of similar nature? And that's what these pages are for. And the beautiful thing is, is you see uh, representatives, you see Thanos, Star Fox, and Mentor. Uh, Mentor is on the card here. Uh, first appearance, Iron Man, 55. So there you go. So now you know exactly what issue you need if you wanted to go check these guys out. And it's way cheaper than buying all those comics and finding out firsthand. Lovely. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm gonna, exactly. I'm gonna put this in the Ryan pile and I'll fly through the rest of these this pack here. My next one yeah. is Archangel. Archangel. Ooh. Will Definitely you buy be that one. My... You've got that one? No, I don't. <laughs> That's oh, yeah. a Ryan pile as well. That's a Ryan pile. All right. Next one is upside down for some reason, but it's Moon Knight. Oh, I I love Moon Knight. I, lately, I've been reading up more and more on Moon Knight, and the more and more I read up, I am so stoked for the Moon Knight show. Uh, but as well, I have actually been collecting comics uh, or in the in the market for getting back into comics right now. So um, I looked up a really good series. So that I don't have that card as well. So that's a Ryan pile. Right. Though to be fair, once I start opening mine, I might might get some of these guys. But we'll we'll compare notes. And this is card number two. So it comes right after the Hulk. Lovely. And then Cobweb is next. Oh, Cobweb, the nice. lovable giant spider monster. Yeah, not a are fan you, of spiders. Are you in need of a Cobweb? Wow, the Ryan Pile is beautiful. It's blooming. Ooh, speaking of beautiful, Silver Surfer is next. Oh, that's, that's a rare card, actually. Also, which one? I, also, one of which I do not have. The Ryan Pyle is taking it. All right, I've got a card here, a fight cable versus strife. Oh, good one. Um, that is a great one. I feel like I had that one, but I don't. And let me show the good people uh, at home. No, what no, the back uh, looks like. That's what the back. Yeah, actually, like. yes. Put that in the pile. That's Next Ryan one Pyle. In the pile, cable versus strife. Uh, how about you know, if you're feeling a little edgy and fiery, you can go with my girl, the Phoenix. Oh, now this that one was interesting because the Phoenix is piled up with a bunch of other cards that um, normally I didn't think Phoenix rolled in those social circles, but apparently she does. I think. Uh, but yep, that's another one for the Ryan pile. Wow, that's, that's yeah. sure. I think that whole um, page is just people who are on fire, but then that doesn't include the next card, Firestar. Oh, I almost thought that was Starhawk for you. I was like, ah! Same. Same. But, uh, so it's, the only thing I will say about Firestar that was interesting, guys, uh, and again, like, look how beautiful that that is. That is just... I love the style, the style of the character. Um, the last we saw her uh, in multimedia side was she's been in cartoons of Spider-Man, no doubt, um, but she was also in the Maximum Carnage game. Ooh, that's right. Yeah, you can get her as an ally. And actually... I want to show people the back too, because the backs of these cards are so colorful. Like they oh, are yeah. just, it, it could not be more colorful. So now if I'm not mistaken, uh, there was apparently a card series that was similar where you could play a game um, with these characters. Overpowered. Um, 
Sorry? Marvel Overpower? I think so. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Because I think you gave me a, an Overpower card once. I think a I DC may one. Have. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. They were, I, I, did, I had a few and I never played it, but uh, mm -hmm. it looked fun. So Firestar is going in your pile? That's uh, Firestar. Firestar, every card you've gotten so far has been wow. in my pile. What about Shatterstar? Ooh, Shatterstar. What number is Shatterstar? He is 32. Think, yep, that's another one for me. <laughs> wow. And then last but not least, to keep up with the X-Men trend, everybody's favorite bros, Wolverine versus Sabretooth. Oh, that's a great card. Oh, my God. Dude, I think literally every card you got is a card I need. <laughs> look, how, look how happy they are on the back. They're just so delighted to see each other. Just, I love the drool. Yeah. You know, the drool is really nice. Somebody looked, think about this, Ryan. Somebody looked at this card, right? Somebody looked at that and somebody looked at this. Whoops. And they said, hi, I'm the costume designer for X-Men Origins. Let's make Sabretooth a dark haired guy in a black trench coat. <laughs> I will never Actually, get over that. If you watch, or sorry, if you read the X-Men Ultimates comic, that's exactly what Sabretooth looks like. Jesus Lord. Uh, all, right. <laughs> all right. Let's see you turn. Yeah. All right. Here we go. So I have Deathlock on mine. Character uh, we saw in uh, Marvel's Agents of Shield. Literally the most '90s Marvel character ever. I think, that's, <laughs> I think that's a safe claim to make. Yeah. Now I gotta ask. I gotta ask you, you viewers, or sorry, listeners and viewers. Um, but I'm gonna ask you too, Fantasia. How do you open your deck of cards? It depends. With Magic the Gathering, for example, I can just kind of pop it open and then push them out, and it's really satisfying. With these, they're a bit more... Fra oh, you did it! Okay, so I have to find a way to do it, because that just feels so nice to do that. Yeah, I know, right? All right. Uh, ooh, here we go. Uh, oh! Ho, ho, ho. Oh! Ho, ho. What's going on? Sorry. What's going on? I got a limited edition. <gasps> Look at that! Oh my God, that's beautiful. Which we made a rule. If I collect any limited editions, they go straight to Fantasia first. Oh, so. bless your heart. Look at that. This wow. is the specialist. Do you know how surreal it is right now for me to see a card from this set that I'm not familiar with? I I couldn't imagine. I mean, I have never even seen it either. Wow. Uh, oh man, this is, this is gorgeous though. It's got a red reflective background. I got to try to keep my fingers off uh -huh. it too much um red reflective background uh, which makes the image just pop which is just gorgeous um i wonder who that guy is he looks like a samurai yeah uh origins unknown first appearance spider-man 2099 uh issue number four uh yes and uh because of his belief in the samurai ways the specialist uh refuses to use any type of firearm in his job as a corporate mercenary. Wow. Good on him. Very cool. Good on him. So I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep that safe for you, my friend. Okay. And it says here, thank you so much. It says here on the box that there are nine of those characters and they're, they're Ooh. Marvel, Marvel 2099. That's the set. And then there Gorge. is, one other special one that's Spider-Man versus Venom. Uh, so I wonder how many we will get all together. But even one is just glorious. Mm -hmm. um, all right. What else now, you got? I, 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 I'm going to just quickly interrupt before I rifle through some more here. Um, I did open a few before this. This I could not wait. Okay. That's how excited I was to have this moment uh, with Fantasia, but to a point where when we met up, we split the deck so we could open them together and do this wonderful episode for you guys. However, I could not wait for this episode. Therefore, I did open a few packs beforehand. And funny enough, I was unable to complete one page. And in fact, to this day, uh, even growing up, I could not complete one page. Okay, I had my cousin... Uh, my cousin's best friend, he stayed over at our house. I put up a whole campaign to make sure that that situation would happen. And he owned a comic book store at that time. And I asked him, I'm like, hey, man, can we trade like cards? I would love to get these particular cards. And he came and he he stayed over being an ultimate bro to his friend, which, you know, mad props 
to Kevin. That was a great friend of his. Um, his name's not Kevin. My cousin's name is Kevin. Uh, but the, the, the guys, I can't remember the guy's name, but he was a great guy. And bless his heart. Uh, I had no, nothing to offer him cause he had everything. Uh, he basically, he opened this giant dictionary size worth of cards and I had nothing to offer him, but he kindly did give me one card, but to this day, I've never completed a page. Um, but that being said, we can move on here. I just need to get to the right page. We're going to complete a page in this video. I know it. Yes, yeah, we're going to do it. it. Uh, we're going to do it. All right. So I got crystal, which I have. Uh, cool. This is uh, the Inhumans crystal, mm -hmm. okay? Who uh, who fell in love with Johnny Storm? Uh, so I think great story I think there. any doubles you get, we should give to Nick or something. <coughs> Agreed. I think uh, Nick should definitely get these cards. I think yeah. he'd really appreciate that. Um, let's see if we can complete another set, yeah. uh, which would be pretty cool. Uh, so I have Crystal. Uh, so that's really awesome. Uh, great story there. I have the X Force versus the Brotherhood of Mutants. Oh, beautiful! And that was back in the day when they called themselves the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants because they they <laughs> they wasn't Stanley wasn't good at subtlety. Yeah. And Ego was gonna say he's evil, just like everybody in real life. Oh man, yeah, no, it's so true. And I also have this card as well, so that's uh, on the Nick pile. It's gonna go to the Nick pile. All right, and back to my cards. All right, so we got Asgardians, which I have. Mm -hmm. Asgardians, That's a beautiful yeah. card. I love the Asgardians card. Look at that. So and fun that fact, looks just like MCU, like just the color that they use. Sorry, what's your fun fact? Oh yeah, just the, the color. Sorry. So the fun fact about this, speaking of the MCU, um, so remember how we had a debate about Enchantress, whether or not that was Enchantress or not? Yeah. On her bracers was these circles, okay? That's right. And Enchantress, if you look at her costume, that's a that's a big thing for her is the, having those circles on her outfit. So, heads up, they never said it, but we all were thinking it. And there's your proof. So, yeah. read it and weep. Uh, we have Lilith, a uh, great card. I have this one as well. This is part of the Ghost Rider. Uh, Dormammu mysticism side of things. Yeah, she's uh, very powerful. Well. Very powerful. I remember her card mm -hmm. was like big numbers on the back of that card. Right, right. Ooh, all right. Uh, I just I kind of spoiled it for myself, but I'll, I'll get excited when I show you after. Um, we got Magneto. This is a great card. Like I said, this is a center card. So this one I felt would have been very rare to get. Uh -huh. I have two. Then we got Thor versus Blood Axe, another card I have, Ooh. but this is a great card as well. Um, fun fact about Blood Axe, I, I, you know, I think he would make a great MCU villain, but that might be another conversation for another time. Thor five, Taika. Thor five. <laughs> All right, this is interesting. So I have the thing. Uh, mm -hmm. This is a great card. I've had this one since nineteen uh, ninety three. Um, this is an interesting time. So the Fantastic Four underwent uh, a very interesting makeover. Um, and the the cool thing about Thing is he gets this kind of knight helmet. Um, and I think it's because he goes through a phase where he realizes that he's, you know, he's, he's got self-image problems. So he kind of just like figured it'd best be just to hide his face completely and just be this like mountain of strength um, that he is. Uh, but yeah, this was an interesting time. Great card. Uh, and the reason why I bring it up is the Invisible Woman's uh, uh, outfit was oh, yeah. <laughs> was the site of pure controversy. Uh, and I'll show you real quick um, before I jump to my next card. I'm glad you got rid of the uh, helmet thing because we love you just the way you are. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. That is the Invisible Woman's costume itself was pretty much invisible. There's a lot <laughs> of skin showing there. Uh, you know, and people were like, okay, you know what, if you're going to do it that way, you know, you know, the, 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 the kind of the two, the two piece thing that that's fine that, you know, whatever, but they never understood the four, the four is actually missing. And for some reason, giving off cleavage and in the comic books, they address this, uh, Reed Richards, is like, what are you doing? Like, it's, it's really awkward. It's the a cringy. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's bananas. It, yeah, it's it's really cringy. It's really cringy. Do you think um, a dude designed that outfit? Yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> uh, we got Mobius. 
Mor- or Morbius. Sorry, Morbius. Yeah, Morbius. I wish it was Mobius. <laughs> Morbius. Sorry, Morbius. Um, do I have Morbius? I do have Morbius. This is going to Nick Pyle. Oh, Nick Pyle. Uh, so there you go. Morbius. Uh, great, uh, great card there as well. This is really good design. Very popular card as well. Um, and then we have Wolverine versus Venom. Great card. Very popular. Ooh, nice. And guess what, buddy? No way. Two limited edition. In one pack? In one pack. What kind of wizard are you? How did you do that? I don't know. This is Fear Master. And again, I apologize. I'm sorry if you see my fingerprints. I'm really trying here. <laughs> but it's this like a is, little this is yours. Like Love Ryan. Here's my fingerprint. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> this That's is yours, so buddy. Cool. So you have two collector's cards now. Uh, so we, this is the fourth one. This is another character here. Uh, his name is Fear Master. Uh, he looks like his Kilgrave the first, Purple Man. Yeah, a little bit. His outfit's pretty interesting, actually. Yeah. Um, his first appearance is Punisher 2099, issue two. Wow. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you. Wow. You're I can't welcome, believe sir. that. Imagine these two. getting that pack as a kid. I know. And fun fact, the two cards do connect. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's an, well, they, it says there's nine of them. So, yeah, I guess it's another page. Just another full page. All right. My next yeah. pack has Deathlock on it, too. So maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe, Maybe I'll pull the same two and you can have those two. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Let's hope. I'm actually hoping we can collect them all. At least one of us will have the full page. I would love that. All right, here we go. Listen uh, to that sound, guys. You just like, just appreciate that this sound. This is a beautiful sound. All right, here we go. I managed to get it in one piece. Put that nice. there. So my first one is a lady named Shock who could use a trip oh. to the dentist and the barber. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have that one, actually. She is number 62. Yeah, I have that one. Great card. Going right. to the Nick Pile. On the Nick Pile. Oh, and then look who it is. He made an appearance. Deathlock. Ooh, nice. Love it. Mm-hmm. I don't have that one. All right, Ryan Pile it is. Oh, Invisible Woman. Just oh, weird. Oh, I should have let you just open it and get to that point. It's just so funny, man. It's... Uh, uh, that four is bananas. This she's just letting it all hang out, uh, and uh, Morg is also doing the same. He's not wearing a shirt. Mm-hmm. That is one of the original cards I had from nineteen ninety three. Yeah, Morg's a cool guy. All right, Morg. Oh, and look what it is it's Spider Man versus Venom. I think you oh. just pulled that, right? Oh no, you pulled Wolverine versus Venom. Which Wolverine I can, versus Venom, which I can see because of how i'm holding this is at the bottom of this pack uh, oh do you, man you're getting, you're getting all the ones i don't have spider-man versus venom's going in the ryan pile that's going in the whoa wait hold on double checking oh no i have it i have it we're good Ooh, okay going to the nick pile. on the nick pile what about spider woman Ooh, no i have there's only one person i'm missing from the avengers page and it's not spider woman okay who is it great card though who are you missing? Uh, well, we'll we'll find out when we cross that bridge, oh, won't we? Okay. Oh, my next one is Thing. So, yep. Can get him aside. Two members of the Fantastic Four in one deck. How about the the most sexually suggestive name for a superhero, Night Thrasher? <laughs> I don't have Night Thrasher. Ooh. That's great though. <laughs> well, he's he's paying you a visit tonight. All right, there we go. And how about our old friend Demo Goblin? I have Demo Goblin, obviously from the ever-popular Maximum Carnage. That was great. And then there we go. And the last one's Wolverine versus Venom, which you just pulled there. No Starhawk still. Oh, my God. And nothing, no special cards either. And I'm pretty much, uh, I'm half and half here almost. All right, your turn. Let's play through these. How many are left? Yeah, okay. This. Okay. And just just, just smooth sound, guys. I'm going to try to just bring it on us. Don't worry. It becomes an ASMR video of just opening foil packs. <laughs> I'm trying to open it the way I did. And it's so tricky. Do you um, guys want us to do a full ASMR video? Tough luck. We're bad at that. Yeah, I, I don't have the microphone set up to do it. It's not going to happen. That would drive me crazy. 
All right, off to a healthy start here. We got uh, we got Cannonball. Cannonball Run. Very nice. Fun, fun fact, very popular character from the 90s. Uh, only showed up in one episode of X-Men. Ooh. And it was right near the end of the run. Uh, oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Dude, are you pulling Ooh. crazy things again? What's going on? No, no, no. All right. I finally completed one page. Yes. <laughs> we did it. Stop the show. Uh, I have Oculus. Oculus, Oculus Rift. Look at that. Yeah. And who is Oculus? Oculus. That's the Fantastic Four page, isn't it? Yes. Is a uh, ruler of the Gen Guild, Gem Guild in the Other Dimension universe? Interverse, interverse, oh. Fantastic Four six hundred or sorry, no sorry, Fantastic Four sixty three or three hundred sixty three. It's hard to honestly. This font is the smallest. Yeah, these are tiny, tiny, tiny fonts. Yeah. Uh, did you know Oculus replaced his right eye with a gemstone capable of firing beams of light? Okay, guys, there's only one way to do this, so I'm just gonna hold it yeah. like this. So here it is, guys. Okay. And you see, oh, and it's the centerpiece too. Slide that yeah. puppy in. There you go. Slide that. This is the feeling. This is the good feel. Oh, yeah. You complete. <laughs> Xbox achievement. Guys, this That's is a it. big moment for Ryan. So I hope you're clapping. Even if you're listening to this like a year after we post it, you better applaud oh, or we will find it. That's, That's amazing. Oh, my God. What and a beautiful. Oh. You know what makes me happy, dude? That your not just you know ryan whitehead's first completed page is the fantastic four page yeah that's that's serendipity right there that's very serendipitous oh man that's this is awesome that, <laughs> that's a great feeling oh my god oh that's fantastic, huh? uh, fantastic. awesome stuff all right uh, continuing on this train of awesome all right what do we got next uh ooh. I got a couple of good cards here. All right, the next card I got, let me just jump to the page real quick. Uh, da, 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 oh, went too far. All right, is Micro Max. And again, these are characters, uh, I don't know. Again, I don't see a lot of these characters. They definitely did not hit it. This is on the Phoenix page. Right. Uh, next next to what looks like Psylocke. Yeah, the Phoenix page is a hit and miss page. Mm, the hit and miss, yeah. Well, I mean, it's just there's a, weird characters. I mean, you have you have Captain Britain, you have Psylocke, you have probably I think it's Havoc, uh, and Micro Max goes right beside Guardian and Wildheart. Love it. That sounds like and, a uh, yeah. There we go. Nice. That page is coming along really well. Even mm -hmm. that name, Micro Max, that sounds very nineties. Oh yeah, for sure. All right, let me just pick up speed a little bit here. And I got a Wolverine versus Cyber. How 90s is that? Wow. Cyber. Right. Wolverine versus Cyber. I don't know where you go. After that, he's after that fight, Cyber's going to go put on a Nirvana record and hack somebody. That's how 90s yeah. he is. Oh, yeah. I mean... <laughs> I don't know, man. This is, it's a weird card. <laughs> um, again, it's just like these characters you've never heard of. Mm -hmm. 161, 51, 52. Oh, oh, oh. Is it going to be another page completed? Dude, oh, if you fill two pages and one booster, you are on fire. Oh, wait. Did I get it wrong? 161. Oh, no, I'm so close. Oh, that was so close. It was a page. It was a page with two missing. Oh. And there it is. Right wow. There. there we go. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting we're there. We're getting there. So close. Oh, but second page is complete. <laughs> I got Wonder Man. That was the one of the adventures I was missing. Yes. The center card. Oh, hells to the S. Yes. This is a good feeling, guys. I get to live this good feeling one more time. One more time. Okay, so let's do the scan here. Here we go. We're, There's we're, all the Avengers. The Avengers page. Except, oh, what's that weird blank spot? That's not an Avenger. That's somebody nope. else entirely. 
on it's oh, the wait. Fantastic Four. Is it Boom! Now it's an Avenger. There we go. Wonder Man, good choice. He looks like a wow. surfer too. It's the Namor looks sure like he's seen them. better days. Oh my god. <laughs> More like <That> Nay <laughs> All right, so these cards are really cool. These uh, these are the yeah. um, uh, Unsolved Mysteries, and this is the story of Peter's parents. I have this card, uh, but these are really cool, and they have a brief description on the back of the, the, the entire story. Um, but again, these are really cool cards. Yeah, um, very neat. Very cool there. Uh, but I have it, so that's going to the Nick Pile. Uh, we have Dormammu himself. Booyah! Ooh. Don't have this card either. Wow, that's a great pull. Dormammu. Mm -hmm. I, well, I completed two pages, so that definitely is a good feeling. <laughs> uh, ooh, where does Dormammu go is the question. I'd imagine on the Doctor Strange page with uh, oh, yep. Brood mm -hmm. and all those guys. Uh, we got Doctor Strange, Beta Ray Bill, Blackheart. Yeah. This is a nice top top row collects okay. right there. We got Spider Man. Boom. Oh, very underutilized character. They didn't do much with him. Yeah, nah, yeah, he didn't do too well. Uh, this is a center card in the street level. Spider-Man, yeah. so I'm going to take that. Uh, also, fun fact, guys, notice how Daredevil shares the same page with Spider-Man. Coincidence? You're trying to tell us something? Trying to tell us something, <laughs> Kevin? <laughs> uh, we have Hulk versus Hulk, which wow. is another one I don't have. There are so many of uh, those verses that I every time we've pulled one tonight, I've forgotten. I'm like, wow, do I have that? Because they made so right? many. I mean, don't you have your set with you? I don't. I should have it with me, but I just figured. I was going to say, wouldn't you have it ready just so you have the one card that you're I looking know, for? Right? Uh, all right, and I got one more, and I have completed a third page with this, with this one pack. Uh, I have the fate of the X Men, the unsolved Ooh, mysteries. Wow, nice. And that now cleans up this page right here. So that. That was the last unsolved mystery left for you. Yep, unsolved mysteries is complete. So technically, they should be solved mysteries now. <laughs> I wonder if yeah, any of those part. mysteries are still actually unsolved, like left hanging since 1993. <laughs> um, there's a few that I think were solved. Uh, to be fair, the I think all of them would have been solved. The origin of Nightcrawler, I definitely have. I think I've seen yeah. the story for. Um, the face of Doctor Doom, I think, has been done like three or four times. Uh, uh, the origin of Wolverine has been done more three times. Three or four hundred times. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, three or four hundred times. The origin of Cable, though, I don't think has been done. Well, well, I think the origin of Cable is one time Jean Grey and Scott Summers had a few too many mimosas and, you know, they went into their bedroom and surprise, mm -hmm. pregnancy. All right. Totes. Silver Sable is on my pack. Which means this will be a wild pack. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. Zing. Oh, man. Okay, here we go. Just listen to that feeling, guys, or listen to that sound, that sound does, of opening cards. Does it smell like there's a Starhawk in here? I don't know. I there's think definitely, it does. I'm feeling, I'm feeling it. We're on a roll. There's definitely a Cable versus Deadpool card. Oh, that's a big one, actually. That's it. Cable versus Deadpool has been going on for so freaking long. Yeah. Uh, is that a card that I do not have? Cable's kind of ah, a jerk. A oh, wait. No, I have that one. Cable versus Deadpool. You have a cable? All right. I'm going to breeze through these because I have a lot of packs left. Uh, I got an Unsolved Mystery, Infinity Watch guy. I remember telling nice. you about this card, and you were like, what are you talking about? Who's this glowing man? And apparently the mystery was solved. I looked it up, and that glowing man is Thanos. So there you go. Um, Black Axe, one of the rookies, a rookie card. These are the new, the page that's full of new characters who didn't go anywhere. Yeah, have him. Black Axe, all right. These guys always made me laugh. The Ovoids. It's <laughs> <laughs> a great one. I don't have them. All right, well, you have them now. They're Coneheads. And you got Storm, Power of Lightning, oh, Strike, great. Nine Enemies. 
I love it. I don't have that card as well. Oh. I, I mean, like I'm sure I've now completed a few pages now with the cards I you think, have. I, I think so. How do you like my storm impression? Is it on point? I, you know, I feel like you, you delivered the umph that re is required. Wind of winter, chill the air. Uh, <laughs> she's so she sounds like Gandalf. She's so dramatic. Uh, Siege, another rookie. Don't have him. Wow, look at that. That's the most '90s looking guy I've ever seen. Blackheart. Yeah. Have him. Great have card. Him. Now, I want you to picture this, Ryan. Somebody looked okay. at this card, all right? And they said, I'm the costume designer for Ghost Rider. We're going to make him a guy in a black trench coat. Because <laughs> it's all about motorcycles. It's all about motorcycles and trench coats. Quasar, who we probably Ooh, are going to get in Guardians 3. I have Quasar. Have uh, Quasar. Great representation of Quasar in uh, Avengers vs. Mightiest Heroes, played yes. by a woman. Uh, Ghost Rider versus Lilith. Ooh, don't have that one. That's a good one, though. Oh, there you go. You're good. Love that. the art on that one. Why don't I remember half of these fighting cards? I have to double check to, to see if I have the whole fighting set because I'm pretty sure I do. And Nightcrawler, the incredible Nightcrawler. Don't have that one. Well, Kurt Wagner is coming to your house. Oh, that's nice. All right. All right. All right. I'm gonna, we're going to start picking up speed a little bit here. Yeah. It's, it's There's gotta, a lot. I think, I think we've done a lot of explaining and not enough opening. Yeah. All right. Uh, I also got Black Axe. All right. I got the six member as well. Ah, I did end up getting the uh, the funny aliens. The ovoids, okay. The ovoids, yep. And uh, that's going in. I'll put these guys here. here. Oh, okay. this page is coming along nicely. I haven't collected enough of the outer worldly uh, characters here. I also got Storm. Storm. Yeah, that's the X Men one's coming along nicely now. I'm you missing Night. Not pass. I'm missing Nightcrawler and whatever the top middle one is. Okay. Uh, all right, we got Dead Zone. Ooh, yeah, he's bad. This, uh, this is actually a part of the first. The first page really blows my mind that it's the Hulk. It's out of yeah. all the all the characters to go first. I'm really surprised it's the Hulk. I always wondered with these cards how they decide what the first and last are going to be. You just made a face. Did you did you get something crazy again? <laughs> what did what happened? Well, okay. what have first you done? of all, I got I got one. This is not the one I'm reacting to, but okay. I got sleep uh, sleepwalker sleepwalker sleepwalker. Yeah. Now, fun fact about this, and another reason why I'm another reason why I'm happy to be collecting these is I'm pretty sure my sleepwalker is a little beat up. Yeah, mm. and so I'm going to replace it with this guy. With some nice crisp edges. I love that. Oh, yeah, nice crisp edges. There we go. Get rid of that. Give that to my brother. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. All right, you ready for this? Oh, boy, what did you react to? What have you done? What have you done? Oh, it's Star We did it, people. And unless Fantasia gets his own from that back, we got it. We got the one card he needed. Star Hawk, it's done. We did it, buddy. You and I, we did it. Oh, my oh, man. God. Wow. And are are you missing her as well? I am. Okay. So you know what's going to happen? I'm going to pull a Star Hawk, too, and we're both going to walk away winners. Hells to the yes. But I'm going to keep yours safe for now, unless we don't get it, which is totally fine. Totally mm -hmm. cool. Uh, that was a part of the Galactus center uh, center card. Right? Yeah, she's right next to Galactus. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, next one I got is... Ooh, I got a couple of good ones here. Oh, oh my God, okay. Uh, I got this... Uh, exec this is called the Executioner's Song. Oh, uh, yeah. That looks like oh, Strife see. there, I think. 154. Mm-hmm. Two, one, two, three, three. <gasps> Another badge has done! Yeah! <laughs> right here, guys. First battle page done. Flesh. The colors. It is off. Skybox, if you're still making cards, do this again with the new mm -hmm. characters and just make it look like this, please. Make it colorful. <laughs> That's all I ask. Exactly. Uh, I have, uh, I got Havoc. Uh, who is a part of uh, Team Britain uh, and the fiery background of Phoenix. I got to remember where this is. Uh, 40, 
two, three, four. There we go. Havoc is a nice corner piece, which is one I'm missing next to Psylocke. And I got Namorita, part of the Street Squad. She's cool. I'm looking forward to seeing her in the MCU. I think they're going to do cool stuff with her. Oh, yeah. Hondo. Uh, where does she go? 22. She, yeah, I think she goes on the page with like uh, hmm. Splice and those guys. The Night Thrasher. <laughs> the Night Thrasher. He's coming Ooh, someone was on the creative ball for that one. Oh, someone was on something. Uh, yeah. Is it my turn here? Yeah. I got Daredevil on a pack, which I haven't seen yet. So maybe that, that means uh, something rare is afoot. Let's something see. rare and special. All right. Maybe all the cards are in Braille because Daredevil's on it. That would be actually pretty cool. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Get to learn Braille. Okay. Uh, let me try to open this without damaging things. I'm just going to tear the pack to make expediency sake. Because there are like 12 packs left in my box. And a four-hour podcast of this would probably hurt some people's hearts. Wild Heart is the name of this guy. Oh, I have Wild Heart. Great card, though. All right. Look at that 90s hair fly. Captain America versus Crossbones. Oh, great card. Have it. I have it. All right. There we go. Uh, War Machine, where we're going. Have we it. don't need roads. All right. So you don't need roads either. <laughs> And no nope. motor mouth. Uh, motor mouth. People. Have him as well. Yeah, Weird motor character, mouth. I'm gonna say. Yeah. Why did you name your motor mouth? Like yeah. as if that was a good thing. That is, yeah, that's odd. Uh, Beta Ray Bill. I know you have him. You mentioned you have Beta Ray Bill. Uh, yeah. All right. Cardiac from the Spider Man page. Have it. Uh, came from Maximum Carnage series. Yeah, that's one of the first cards in this set I ever got. I remember my first booster had Cardiac in it. Uh, hmm. Fantastic Four versus Secret Defenders. Don't have that one. That one sounds Ooh. wicked, though. Yeah, that, the, the art on that is one of my favorites, too. It's really colorful and juicy. I'm going to set oh, that yeah. down in your pile for you. Uh, yeah. I got uh, The Face of Doctor Doom. Uh, oh, have that one as well. Uh, I got Terror Inc. Have that one. That one's a hilarious name, too. Yeah, uh, but not as hilarious as the Uber 90s Death Metal. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I have that one. Great name, though. I think he's the last character in the set before they move oh, on. Oh, wait. To yes, I do. I have I have Death Metal. All right. That's Nick Pyle. It's a Nick All Pyle. Right. Nick Pyle. Oh, okay. I didn't get to open this one the same way as I did the other How many packs do you have left? I think I have like 18 or so. This many. is the last one for me, so we're just going to rifle through yours after. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because you opened a bunch of yours already. Okay. Yeah. So I got Doctor Doom, which I have. Great card. Okay. Good old Doc Doom. Uh, didn't have this. Have Rage now. Rage. Okay. He's so addicted to Rage a hall. Am I getting? Am I finishing up my street sweepers? Twenty five. Oh, I think so. Uh, I think ooh, that's getting a page. close. Uh, oh, I turns out I did have Night Thrasher, but I'm missing three from that page. Okay. Got got me some Venom. Heck yes. Ooh. Don't think I have that card. Hey, give me the Spider-Man. Oh, I'm so close. Oh, man, I'm missing one card now for uh, Spider-Man's page. Hold up that page. Okay. Let me see which card you're missing, because I think I remember that page pretty okay. well. Let's see, because I want to get excited if I find it. Uh, all right, Demo Goblin, blah, blah, blah. So you're missing Carnage. Yep, missing that good old carnage. Mm. He's always uh, rare. He's a rare one. Uh, oh, oh, yes. Oh, I think this is going to be a good deck for me. Uh, okay. Uh, Punisher versus Jigsaw. Classic mm. story. The movie was okay. They did Ray Stevenson as Punisher. He did a pretty decent job. It wasn't quite the same impact as Thomas Jane, um, but it wasn't terrible. I didn't see the Ray Stevenson one. I only saw the Thomas Jane one, and I liked it. Uh, you know, one sixty-four. Okay, one sixty-four. Yeah, I mean, again, it had some good moments. A little bit intense for my liking. <laughs> uh, Namor, I have to I'm gonna switch out as well. Um, you already start opening your next deck there. All right, good call. 
And I'm just gonna quickly sweep out this one. And while you're opening yours, I'm just gonna keep going and highlight some ones I get that are gonna be good. Uh, yeah. She-Hulk, don't have this one. Great card, looking forward to the show. One of my favorite characters and my most anticipated show of Marvel Slate right now. Okay, mm -hmm. I got Cardinal. Do you Are you missing Cardinal? He's flying over. Missing Cardinal, yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Right, and I got Bloodseed. That's a terrible name. <laughs> Part of the Rockstar group. Man, they just want it to be as edgy as possible. Uh, speaking yeah. Speaking of edgy, my least favorite X-Men villain, Apocalypse. Oh, great choice. Don't have that card. All right, there you go. I got Black Knight. Black Knight. Yeah, nice. Oh, also looking forward to his appearance in Eternals. Jon Snow. Uh, this might be some of my favorite art. In the set, Thor versus Loki, right there on the Rainbow oh, Bridge. Don't have that one. Ooh, all right, some Rainbow Bridge action for you. There we go. Uh, Daredevil, who you have. Goodbye, Daredevil. How about this, Ryan? How about Moses Magnum, a man covered in <laughs> wires? Definitely don't have that one. You don't have Moses Magnum? What number is that? Nine. Nope, definitely don't have that one. All right. Do you have the Human Torch? I do, because I we saw that was the first page it completed. Right, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm a dumbo. Wow, yeah, that's, that's a beautiful card. One of my first cards ever and my introduction to this character before Marvel gave him to me in movie form, Drax the Destroyer. Oh, yes, yes. That was the one that really sparked a conversation with us, for that's sure. That's the one. Do you have Drax? I do. Okay, there we go. Punisher versus Thorn, who's just a boring guy in a trench coat. <laughs> we all know how we feel about that. Uh, what number? Uh, 153. 153. I'm missing that one. Okay. Oh, the guy I mentioned earlier, Splice the Ninja. Splice, have that one. That's the Avengers page. Mm -hmm. That's a little beat up, though, so I will definitely take it, though. All right. And then the Night Stalkers. Ooh, what number is that? One? That is 108, and it's got Blade and Hannibal King. and. Yep, Venice. don't have that one. Don't have that. All right, there we go. The Ryan pile is nice and thick, buddy. There's a lot going on here on the Ryan pile. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Okay. Here we go. Let's tear through these some more here. I can feel something special is coming. I can feel it. I can feel Ooh, I spoiled it for myself. Here, I'm just going to show you. Oh, oh. Doom 2099. Oh, what? Oh, my God. We got three. We have three. That's amazing. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's so cool. That, I mean, you know, out of out of all the limited editions we got, that's the best one. Wow. Doom 2099. That is epic. What a card. That's beautiful. All right. And then we got Hulk versus the leader. And um, Betty Brant is in the background naked because it's the 90s. Have, have that one. Yep, definitely in the 90s. <laughs> uh, uh, we got The Origin of Cable, which is the unsolved mystery that you have. Mm -hmm. um, we got Cannonball, who you have there as well. And Oculus, who you have there as well. And Micromax, who we saw. Wolverine versus well Cyber. Yeah, who also looks like her Ant-Man ripoff. We're going to look yeah. into this, this Micro Max story here. All right, so these are all ones you just pulled. Wonder Man, Hulk versus Hulk, Dormammu. So a very similar pack there. All right, let's see what's behind door number 28. <laughs> okay. I got I'm running out of space to put my things here. Tiger Shark. You have Tiger Shark. <laughs> I have Tiger Shark. It's a beautiful card. Okay. Do you have Punisher? I do. All right. It feels Great like card, a weird... Though. Yeah, it is a good card. I feel like we're playing a weird game of Go Fish. Yeah. <laughs> this is the you best have... game of Go Fish ever. <laughs> Dark, Dark Angel. Angel. Yes, I have that one. Go Which Fish. Was a, that was a Jessica Alba show about Batman's daughter. Do you remember that? No. It was a weird show. Crystal, who you already showed me. She is a yeah. cutie. Um, oh, here we go. X-Force versus the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. 
which you had there. Uh, yep, have that one. Yeah, I, I really don't remember that card in my collection. I'll have to double check. Asgardians, we know you've got the Asgardians, and you've got Lilith and Magneto and Thor versus Blood Axe and Morbius. All right, so that's what happened with these cards, everybody. They would kind of package them in a, a like, it's strange because it's not quite the exact same order, but if a card had three, or sorry, if a pack had three particular cards in a row, mm -hmm. another pack would have, you know, you'd have good odds that you get the same three cards in a row. It was, yeah. it was yeah. weird like that. Uh, what about so this pack? Yeah, sorry. Uh, oh, I was going to say, Micromax, his name is Scott Wright. And uh, he has the ability uh, to change the size of his body parts to uh, hide his uh, normally flabby physique while his super heroic, while his super heroic identity. The weirdest character. Wow. Okay, there's Scott Wright. hide my shame so I can be a superhero. Yeah. What about Mr. Darkhawk, who I always thought was cool as a kid? Don't have him. Oh, Darkhawk, Hawk. actually, in the 90s, he's a pretty popular character. Yeah, I remember hearing a lot about him then, and then he disappeared. Uh, you know who's still popular, though, and who's going to be very popular with you? Because he just finished a page. You got Carnage, buddy. Ah! Three pages! Four pages now. Four pages! There's going to be Carnage. There you oh. go. Wow. A terrible line. <laughs> that is a really bad line. Uh, okay, so we already saw my least favorite X-Men villain before with Apocalypse, and now we see my most favorite X-Men villain, Spider-Man versus Juggernaut. Look at that. That's oh, a great card. Don't have that card. Alright, he's kicking him in the chest for all the good it'll do. Yeah. Um, Alright, I got US Agent, Mr. Walker, who I, I think you have. I saw on yep. page there. You've got US got Agent. John Walker. Uh, the Falcon. You have the Falcon? I have no Falcon. Nope. Oh, I need no Falcon. Falcon. All right. You got some Falcon. I will take also, though, the... Uh, I will also take the U.S. Agent because my John Walker card is pretty beat up. You got it. Um, does this card make your heart sing? <laughs> I, I Yes, because I don't have it either. Oh, there I you go. I'm, I, I think we're on a good roll for me to we clean are. house. And I'm sorry, people who are only listening, the card I held up was named Wild Thing. That's why I asked him if she made his heart sing. That's a pun. Um, this is, I think, um, you got you to gotta walk me through this. Is this Gemma Chan? Cersei? Yep, that's Gemma Chan. Don't have that card. Definitely uh, need it. And uh, I think if I get that one, oh, no, I'm missing one more. Dang it. What about Daredevil uh, versus Typhoid Mary? The plot don't have that either. Okay, well, that's yours. What about, ooh, Cosmic, the Scrolls? Don't have that one either. Well, that's doing good. Card. Doing good. And then here's something you don't want. I hope you don't have this. Heart Attack. <laughs> I don't have that one either. Okay. We're on what a roll, that? man. We're on a roll. We're cleaning. Where Keep going? going. Keep going. Keep playing All that right. tune. What's happening here? What's happening here? Oh, my goodness. Okay. What are we living in, a, in another super rare world here? Okay, we got Havoc. I think you said you had Havoc. Yeah, yeah. just got Havoc. You just got some Havoc. You got some Namorita here. Here's a cool fella, Mr. Sinister. Are you feeling some Mr. Mr. Sinister, Sinister? I have Mr. Sinister. All right. Sp uh, sp Why don't I remember half of these cards? <laughs> Spirits of Venom. I have that one. Great card, though. Okay. Spirits of Venom. The Origin of Wolverine. The Unsolved Mystery, which has now been solved way too many times. Uh, Deadpool. Great card, have it. Mm -hmm. Um, Lija, who I think is the Skull Empress. Yeah, have that one. Okay. Fantastic four page. Right. Sorry. Yeah, we got Guardian now. Guardian, have that one. Guardian. We got Doctor Strange versus the Dread Dormammu. Ooh, I think I have that one too. He's a big guy, Dormammu. He's got a lot of arms. I hope they yeah, utilize his arms. Uh, how about this guy? I don't remember what he's from. Iron Man? <laughs> Ironic Man? Iron yeah. Ironic uh, Man. That's probably what it says. Yeah. Yes, I have that one. Oh, wow. Uh, there you go. That's Iron Man for you. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're whittling our way it. through this box. There we go. Yeah. As long as we keep getting good cards. Exactly. Keep good times rolling. I got a U.S. agent again. 
We are good with nice. US Agent. Uh, we're good with Tiger Shark. Yeah. And we're good with Namor, who goes next to Tiger Shark. And we're good with Dan. Oh my God, Ryan. No. No. What is that? That is <gasps> Spider Man versus <laughs> some kind of hologram. It's a hologram oh card. God. That's so limited. Oh, I gotta check the checklist on that one. Keep going. That's amazing. Oh my god. Okay. I'm I'm uh oh, wow. I I'm I'm afraid to That's touch it. The last that is the last of the super rare cards. The absolute <sighs> last one. I'm afraid to touch it. I'm so scared right now. Okay, here we go. I'm putting that aside. Wolverine versus Cyber. We know that that's a thing. Uh, we also got yep. Doctor Strange versus Dormammu. How about this yep. one? Ghost Rider versus Blackout. Oh. How's that yeah. work for you? Uh, you know, some of these ones makes me want to read the issue, though. Mm. Uh, so far, I don't have it. So far. What number is it? It is number 159. Yeah, I have it. You have it. All right. And then Hulk versus Leader and Spirits of Venom, which we've already talked about. Beautiful. Wow. I can't believe that card was in there. Who was on it? That was a Spider-Man pack, of course. <laughs> yeah. That was that's beautiful. I'm just going to start tossing these. These are going to fall on the ground. I don't even care anymore. Mr. Fantastic, we know you have. He's got yep. that ugly vest. I'm glad he didn't have that vest for much longer. Thanos, the Mad Titan, who is not so mad yeah. anymore. Have yeah. that one. Um, this is weird. It's a famous battle, but it's just War Machine. <laughs> uh, yes. No, I have that one. That's It's a weird card that he's by himself. Yeah. Um, oh, the Scarlet Witch. Have it. Mm -hmm. That's still, whenever I think of Scarlet Witch, that's still the image I think of. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, speaking of Scarlet Witch and WandaVision. The Darkhold Redeemers. Oh, what does that have to do with what? Do you have that? Is that, who is that? Yes, I do have that card. All uh, right, then we got some Rage, who you had. We got some Venom, who you had. We got some Punisher versus Jigsaw, and some Namor, and my girl She-Hulk. You pulled a She-Hulk just on your last one, didn't you? Yeah, I just pulled the She-Hulk on my last, last deck. She-Hulk is the greatest. Okay. And I, I got to say, as you're opening these, um, you know, we were talking about this too. And I got to say, like, you know, it these, these uh, like, we've been using a trading card app and it's great and all, the, the top trading card, but it doesn't quite capture the same. Dude, not even close. Not yeah. Not even close. All right. Hulk versus leader. We know we got that. We also know we got the origin of cable and we got cannonball. He's still a cannonball. So is Oculus. Uh, see, again, we're going through that same set. There was Cannonball, then there's Oculus, and yep. then there's Mirror Max or yep. Micro Max, Wolverine versus Cyber, and Wonder Man, right? It all kind of comes together. This Dormammu, mm -hmm. Spider Man. Yep. They, that's how they get you. That's how they get you. They get that's those little... And you paid like, I think you pay like five bucks for these things usually. Back then, I don't think it was five. I think it may have been like two bucks. Because I remember oh, when yeah. I bought my when I bought my first pack of Pokemon cards, it was five dollars, and I was like, "That is outrageous." <laughs> uh, all right, Black Axe. Uh, have it. Very, very cool axe. Do you have Doctor Strange himself? I do. All right. Uh, one of my favorite Spider-Man homies, the Hobgoblin. He's a cool guy. Way cool than Green Goblin. I don't care what anybody says. Ghost Rider versus Blaze. Ooh, that's a good one. I think I got it. What number is that? Number 172. 172. Missing that one. Ooh, yes, a Ryan file. And then here's another one that I don't remember. I don't know what's wrong with me. The Origin of Ghost Rider. Oh, yeah. No, I totally got that one. Yeah, you got that. Okay. <laughs> You have Hardcore. I heard he teams up with Night Thrasher a lot. Yeah. I have that one. Yeah, Super hardcore. hardcore. All right. This, wow, well, the 90s in full force here. Die Cut. Yeah, have that one too. Uh, Terrible okay. name. Thunderstrike, the, uh, what happens when you order Thor on Wish. Have that one. Fun fact, I have that one from 93, still in pristine, pristine condition. 
Very nice. And then Spider-Man versus Cardiac. Yeah, I have that one there too. Okay. Three packs left. Gardens. Three packs. Oof. It's going to be tough. It's going to be, gonna tough. be tough. Something's happening. Something's happening. All right. Something big is happening here. We got Thing. We already know Thing's a thing. Do you have this character, Ryan, the Red Skull? Is he part of I, your set? I do. I am missing the one beside him on the right. Which is Blood Axe, I think. No, that's his name's Proctor, I think. Proctor. Okay, yeah. Proctor. Cage. I have Cage. Yeah, Cage. See, we're starting to see some ones we haven't seen before. That's how they do it. Here's the Wild Pack now. Silver Sable's Wild Pack. I have pack. the Wild Pack. All right. Thor, the God of Thunder. I think got him. Thor, I have Thor. Uh -huh. Galactus. You have Galactus, I think. I saw him on your thing there. Uh, That's right. Sp Spider-Man versus the Sinister Six. Ooh, I think I have that one. That is number 155. Five. Yep, have it. All right, and then I got Psylocke, Speedball, and Cable. All just hanging uh, out. Have them all. All right. There you go, folks. And down to our last two packs. What's going to come? They better out? be big. They better have Starhawk and the other ones I'm missing. Oh, that would be nice. That would be nice. I still can't believe you got two of those 2099 ones in one pack. That I know, and you got Dr. Doom. I oh, know. I also got Gambit, Shale. Gambit. Oh, I need Gambit. Way. I need uh, me some Gambit. Well, and that completes, you... I think that completes my other page. Does it really? Uh, yeah, Gambit and Nightcrawler is the only two I'm missing. Well, Gambit going to complete your page for you, brother, and then he going to make Ooh. you some gumbo. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Warlock versus Man Beast. I am definitely missing that one as well. Okay. I think that I think that fin almost finishes my battles too. All right. Well, here's Ulysses Claw, who you have because he's Fantastic Four. Night Stalkers. Okay. Ryan, brace yourself for this. Are you got Starhawk. I got Proctor. Oh yes. With if if you have Cersei, which you do, which I know you do. Yep. Then uh, that completes the Avengers page for me. X Men page is done. Yes. Ooh. And here's X Men page, uh, Avengers page. I can't remember what page he's from, but Scarecrow. Oh, I don't have that one either. I think that's the, the weird cyber pack. Nope, definitely not the cyber pack, people. Who is he? Uh, this is number 90. Uh, I don't have the Night Stalkers, by the way. Okay. This I is thought 90? We, pu we pulled it already, so it's in your pile. Yeah, yeah Scarecrow's number uh, 90. I don't have I Scarecrow either. Okay, I'm and I'm one playing. card away from Scarecrow's page of finishing that one too. I was always turned off by Scarecrow because I'm like, who is this guy? Like, that's a Batman villain. You step off their toes, there, Marvel. Dead Zone, who you have? Yep, very nice card. You also have Sleepwalker. And yep, I need Ryan. Help. Ryan J. Whitehead. I pulled. Starbuck. Yes! 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Wow. There you go, buddy. There I've you never, go. ever held this card in my life. And I can't say that about any of the other ones. And this one's Executioner's Song, which you have. So this goes in garbage. But wow. Starhawk. There you she can is. Now, you can now, and I say take a moment with your camera and place it in the binder. I should. I really I have to get my binder. I'm going to do that. Um, did you know... That Starhawk and her husband Stakar were once united in one being. So she's married to mm. Sylvester Stallone. There you, there go. you go. We learn something new every day. Right. Last pack. All right, go. Give me Hulk, baby. I need me some Hulk. If, if that if I had opened the other pack last, she would have been the second last card I got. How dramatic would that have been? That would have been so I, dramatic. I wish I had done that. Oh, Hulk smash. Yes! Yes! That's the one I needed. Number one in the set, the Hulk. Yeah. There you go. You got him, buddy. You got him. And you've also got, if you don't have him already, Loki. You I don't him. have Loki. Oh, wow. He was always a weird he? looking card. Yeah. There you go. You got what some Loki. He? Oh, he is um, number 49. I'm just trying to see if that completes my. 
<laughs> no, I'm missing what? one more. I'm missing the center card for that one. Oh, okay. Uh, well, there's also Adam Warlock. So there you go. You got. Some I'm missing Warlock. Warlock. All right. Spider Man versus Carnage. Spider Man versus Carnage. I don't have that one. It's getting less and less likely that we'll ever see that in a movie, but maybe. Yeah. How about uh, Peggy Carter herself, Captain Britain? <laughs> I have Captain Britain, yes. All right. Uh, do you have Nova? I do have Nova, yes. All right. And Sabretooth? Nice. Yep, I have Sabretooth. Don't Saber have Apocalypse, Sa though. Don't have Apocalypse. Uh, you have Silver Surfer versus Morg. I think we went over him already. Uh, no, I don't have that battle card, but I think oh. I... Okay. So oh, yes. Surfer. No, I do. Never mind. I do. I do. I do. All Pick right. Cards. And then my last two ones here are the Rhino and Doc Samson. I think you've got... Don't have that. I Oh, sorry. Yes. I ha I thought you meant the versus cards. No. Uh, I have those two. Yes. All right. And that's the vault game. That's, that's it. it. That's my deck. Oh, my goodness. All right. So. Oh, man. Yeah. I, I think... It. Trying to, I'm trying to go through the list here. So Hulk, I, so, so you got Hulk for me. Mm -hmm. You have Moon Knight. You got Siege. Yeah, uh, Dead go. Zone, I got Wilson, Doc Samson. Deathlock, you got that one. Just just to uh, give you an idea here, Ryan, this is the... the oh that's that's what you're looking at. That's coming your way. All right. Uh, there's no reason to sort through that, but when when I see you next, I I will definitely film for you guys. I will Fantasia will film his his getting his limited edition cards, and I I, I guess you'll have to find space for that. But uh, for me, it will be literally taking that entire pile and then seeing what I'm missing that's left. Oh boy, wow, yeah. And then Nick gets some treats, and if there's even more doubles, which I think there are. I'll give some to our buddy Tiago because I know he loves these cards as well. He just loves trading cards in general. I don't think he has any of these, mm. so he will dig these for sure. And we walked away winners, buddy. We, we walked, walked away, away winners. winners, man. I, I, you know, even if I don't get the whole set, the fact that I was able to complete as many pages as I'm about to, it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. And one day we're going to complete your set. That'll be the sequel. That's gonna, it's gonna happen. I promise you. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and listening to us open cards. I, I have to thank you twice for that because I'm sure, especially for the people just listening, this must've been a very weird episode, uh, but it was worth it. Uh, and thank you, Ryan, again, for this wonderful gift. You, you were so kind to purchase this box of, of trading cards. And we, we cleaned up, man. We got some we good stuff. We cleaned house. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't, oops, sorry. I can't wait. I cannot wait to see uh, you complete your collection um, just because like, yeah, yeah, just because uh, the emotional feels, all the feels. But I'm excited to see out of the entire pack because I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure we may have put a good dent, a good dent. If not, we might have collected them all for me as well. we'll I see. definitely I definitely think we did. Uh, and just the fact that empty space there with Starhawk, like Dad, this is for you. We did. There it. you go. We finished it. It's been almost thirty years, but here, here she is. She's, she's a beautiful lady flying through space. That's, it. that's that's what it comes down to. Well, everybody, that has been this very special episode of Infinity Rewatch. Uh, thank you so much for listening and or watching whatever you did. And we will see you soon. We've got lots of what if coming. We've got Shang-Chi coming. Lots of great stuff. Marvel is pumping out everything. And we're going to be with you there every step of the way. So until next time, buy some trading cards because they are worth it. They're better than the app and they're better than, you know, trading card games sometimes. I love Magic the Gathering, but there's... There's really nothing that compares to this. And until next time, have a marvelous day. Hey, scumbags. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up on our video. As always, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Rebel Scum Podcast, for all the latest videos.